Hello, I'm Hannah Ray. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Most of you guys have found me through short form videos, reels, TikToks, shorts, X, formerly known as Twitter, and know me through my spicy content, but I'm actually an avid golfer. I started this YouTube channel to get more into long form content and filming that passion and sharing the golf side of me. So today I'm going to be answering questions from you guys. I posted an ask me anything on my golf Instagram page, Hannah Ray Golfs, and I'm gonna be answering the golf questions that I got today. I also received a ton of non-golf related questions. Maybe I'll do a separate Q&A answering more lifestyle questions. But today it's gonna be all about the golf. All right, so I took screenshots of all of the different questions that I received. There are a lot of them, whoops, wrong way. Um, so I'll just scroll through and find the golf questions, answer those, and then separate video for the, the non-golf related questions. Uh, so first one is favorite club in your bag. Mine's gotta be my five iron. Hope you have a great round. My favorite club is actually my four iron. I do have new clubs on order, so I'm gonna be making a new what's in the bag soon. And actually, once I start hitting the new clubs consistently, that might change. Maybe I'll have a different uh, favorite club. But right now it's gotta be my four iron. How long have you been golfing for? I learned to golf when I was young. My first swings were fourth or fifth grade, that age frame. But I did not keep up consistently golfing. I learned as a kid. I played on the high school team, but that was more at the level of like, oh, let's play to hang out with friends, not competitive high school golf like it seems to be now. It was, I remember in high school shooting like 46 or 48 for nine holes would it be a good round, lots of rounds in the 50s. So by no means was I a good golfer when I was young, but I did learn young. And I think knowing the swing basics or at least having a swing when you're young definitely helps me out now. Uh, after college is when I really picked up golf. And when I joined a country club, and had the free time and some money to spend on golf, that's when I started getting much better and developed the passion for it. And now I golf almost every day and year round because I moved to Florida in the winter. So actually the next three golf related questions are all the same and it's favorite golf course, favorite course, your favorite course to play. I don't know if I really have favorite. I've played uh, the Arcadia courses in Michigan, Arcadia Bluffs and the South course, and those are both beautiful courses. But actually, I really want to get more into golf travel because I feel like I haven't played a ton of destination courses or really cool golf courses. Next question is what wedge lofts you play in? So I am going to do a full what's in the bag video, but I play a 58, a 54, and a 50 degree. Uh, what's the course in Arizona you'd want to play most? Honestly, I have no idea because I don't know my Arizona golf courses. Uh, I have played in Sedona once. It was beautiful. So I'm sure there's lots of lots of courses in Arizona I'd love to play. So next question, how is your flop shot? Honestly, I don't ever practice a flop shot. It's something you really almost never actually need when you're playing a round. I've played lots of rounds, I've played lots of competitive rounds, tournament rounds, and I can only think of one time in a tournament that I ever pulled out a flop shot, and that's like one out of hundreds and hundreds of golf shots. And it was the only time it maybe was actually needed because I was down in a hill, I don't know, 15, the green was 15 feet above my head, and I'm four yards off the green. Most of the time, a flop shot is like never my go-to move, but I am capable of executing one, but I do not ever practice it. Maybe I'll make a YouTube video on that. <laughs> Hitting flop shots over things that I don't care too much about. <laughs> okay, favorite putter. I use a Lab Golf putter, customized, it's pink. You can see it in all of my golf videos. Next question, are you loving your Lab putter as much as I? Uh, yes, I do love it. Honestly, it wasn't a bad putter before I got it, but now I feel like it rolls exactly where I'm aiming. 
So no regrets with the putter, love it. Actually, when I went for a full bag fitting and I got new clubs for other things, I didn't even do the putter fitting because I uh, love my current putter and I didn't want someone to tell me, actually, this one would fit you much better because I'm confident in my putter and I think confidence is a big part of putting. And yeah, I'm a good putter. Uh, best round you've ever shot, uh, 75, three over par. I've done it two or three times. Uh, goal this year is to get an under par round. I'm running out of time here in Michigan, but I can also do it in Florida. Do you carry your clubs, cart or push cart when you play? Most of the time it's on a push cart and I walk is my preferred method. I will take a cart though, mainly if I'm playing courses that isn't my home course then I'll ride. Uh, favorite golfer. Right now I don't really have a favorite that I follow consistently. I have favorites on the leaderboard. Like there's usually someone I'm rooting for over someone else, but I don't have like one that I particularly follow. When I was a kid though, I always loved Ernie Els. He was my uh, golfer to cheer for when I was younger. Why not play more break on putts to prevent rolling out away from the hole in less three putts? I mean, you could play way more break and then you would still miss the putt, but now you're just missing it on the high side instead of the low side. So that's kind of a silly question. You wanna play the right amount of break, no matter the putt. <laughs> would you be able to golf for a living if you didn't have an OF? Maybe YouTube golf once my channel grew but no, I could not make money on the professional tour playing golf. <laughs> I am confident in my game as an amateur, but the pros are a whole nother level that I am not quite there yet, but I strive to be. Best golf moment. I won a club championship after being down as match play. I was down five holes after the front nine and I came back and won on the first playoff hole. I shot even par on the back um, to make the comeback and then win. So that was a pretty cool golf moment. Do you need a custom ball marker? I'll make you one. I use loose change to mark my golf balls, quarters, pennies, dimes, that sort of thing. Cause I often lose my markers, uh, put them in my pockets, lose them in the washing machine, that sort of thing. So I don't use anything special but a custom ball marker would be pretty cool. Uh, what got me into golf? Uh, my dad. I learned as a kid because he golfed a lot. Then I still golf with my dad almost every week. So yeah, he got me into the game and then I learned to love it once I was an adult and I still play with him. Do I putt left-handed and what type of putter do I have? I already mentioned I have lab golf and I do putt left-handed. I am left-handed in all of golf and actually in all of everything life-related. I do everything left-handed. Um, lots and lots of questions of wanna golf together, when we golf and when are we playing? I've never met up with fans to golf. I'll leave it at that for now. <laughs> what courses are your favorite in Florida? I have not traveled much at all to play in Florida. So I can't say I have a favorite golf course down there, but this year, now that I moved into the house, I moved, I bought the house last November. Now that I'll have a full winter and season down there, I am excited to go on more weekend trips and travel all over Florida and try out some courses. My favorite golf ball, I play Callaway Chrome Softs. I've also tried out the new Callaway Chrome Tours. I like those as well. Have I used a caddy before? I have played the Blue Monster at Trump Doral in Florida, outside of Miami, and their uh, caddy is uh, mandatory, I believe, or at least it is the last, I've played there twice actually with two different caddies. It was an awesome experience. I actually shot, gosh, without looking up, I wanna say it was a 79 on the Blue Monster, which is pretty good because that is a tough course. Um, Live Golf played there this year, um, and actually it was a couple, weeks before they were going to play. Uh, so it was cart path only. You couldn't drive on uh, the grass or the fairways because uh, they were getting ready for the tournament and getting it nice and uh, rough thick and just getting the course tournament ready. So it wasn't the easiest course to play. It's never an easy course to play, but the caddy 100% helped me 
score that good round. I never would have done it without a caddy. His reads on the greens were impeccable. He would point to a spot to hit it. I would hit it and it would go in. <laughs> and if I missed it, it was because I didn't hit the spot that he told me to hit. It was a really awesome experience. I would play with a caddy all the time if I could or had had a caddy available. Uh, do I gamble on the golf course? Not in like my weekly rounds, but definitely if I'm with the right group of people that are into gambling, then I 100% will throw my hat into the ring and my money and either win or lose. Stock yardages, I am gonna go through those when I do a what's in the bag. I think I'll do a combined video of stock yardages at my clubs. Uh, what's my handicap? Currently, I am a 4.0. I fluctuate between 3.4 is my lowest ever, up to 6.8 this year. So usually between a three and a six is where I maintain. I would love to get down and see zeros at some point. Uh, what do I shoot? Like I said, I'm a four handicap. I think my average score says 83 on the GHIN app. I get so much backlash when I say this. I'm female, courses are rated differently. That's what my handicap is, um, people will be like, hey, you know, 72 plus four does not equal 86. You should be, there's no way you're a four handicap. I don't need to explain the handicap system to you guys, but handicap system is not your average scores. It's your average best scores. It's what you're capable of shooting. And my lows are 75, 70s. So you do that enough times, you can still have really high scores that don't actually raise your handicap. So that's why my average score is an 83, but I am actually a four handicap. And all right, that was the last golf related question. I will do another version answering all of them for the non-golf questions. There were a lot in there. Maybe I'll put out one more story to get even more for the next video, but I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe to my page or drop in the comments questions you want me to answer on the next version of the video. Mm -hmm.